Women's Resource Centre is very important in connecting women to resources and support. In the age where we're facing lots of cuts, it's very difficult for women to navigate the services that are out there. Having a sort of one-stop shop enables women to get all their needs met under one roof. WISH is a women's mental health charity which supports women before leaving prison and hospital and then in the community. Women go to prison for many different reasons. Many of the ones that we support will have ended up in prison because of something to do with their mental health. It can be very disruptive, they may lose their home, children may be removed, they have financial issues. So here at WISH we offer one-to-one -one counselling, group work, help with debt. It's really, really important that they have a women-only service, especially if they've experienced coercive control, financial abuse, sexual abuse. So we would help women with whatever they need to help them become independent, confident and empowered. Sisters of Frida is a disabled women's collective. We campaign, we lobby, we give training, we have workshops. One of the projects that we're celebrating today is called a peer-led facilitation project and that is empowering disabled women to discover and to realise what they need to be able to be a good facilitator. So it's generally empowerment really. a platform for disabled women to come together and to share their experience and share some of the issues that they experience that they can't discuss elsewhere. The Latin American Women's Rights Service is run by and for Latin American American women. We offer uh, a range of specialist services from a holistic approach, including legal advice in a range of areas, support for survivors of violence against women and girls, and counselling and psychotherapy services. We also run employability and development programmes, and we have a, a programme for social change that includes community organising, campaigning and policy work. We support women who have been facing different types of violence at home, at work and in other areas of their lives. Most of our service users are working in outsourcing sectors like cleaning, catering, hospitality. We also support women who are uh, domestic workers. We constantly have a long waiting list for our services. I think the main aims of the organisation is to make sure that the women are able to break free from violence and exploitation and are able to lead the change that they want to see. Waits is a charity that supports women in Birmingham who are suffering domestic abuse, offending or at risk of offending and homelessness. At Waits, we support women with their practical and emotional needs. We provide them with accommodation, practical support. All our work is underpinned by our workshops, which aim to build confidence, self-esteem and women's understanding of domestic abuse. And we also have befriending services to support women once they've resettled. Our support sessions focus not just on the practical needs of the women. So if a client comes in with stress and anxiety, we use techniques to help them to overcome that so that when they leave, they're feeling in a much better place. 
weights aims to empower women and to build their confidence so that they can overcome the issues that affect them through domestic abuse and to realise that there's light at the end of the tunnel. We hear on a daily basis how well the women have benefited from our services. If it wasn't for Wish, I'd be in prison. I wouldn't have any housing to go to. They've changed my life. Sisters of Frida makes me feel like an independent woman who can achieve what she believes in. Lords helped me to improve my life. If it wasn't for Lords, my life would be very difficult. Before, I don't know happy, but I come here. And now I enjoy live in the UK.